right, everybody. Well, welcome back. Here we are uh, on D Day. Uh, today is that day for these meat birds. Uh, we always say these uh, some of these animals are going to have one bad day, and that one bad day for these meat birds is today. We got these birds on May 4th, uh, so it's been eight weeks and two days. We got 39 of them from Whelp Hatchery. They are doing great. Uh, these birds are probably between five and seven pounds right now. Some more, maybe even eight. So uh, we really looking forward to see, see the results. We have 20 of them to butcher today. We still have another 11 that we left in the other tractor right down down on a pasture for another week. We're gonna wait because we like our birds to be five pounds or, or more. Um, so from here, we're gonna take them right over to our processing station. This is Jay, hi Jay. <laughs> um, so we have a little processing station set up right here. Uh, we had some uh, traffic cones laying around the property. So we're using them as a killing cones. So birds are gonna go upside down here and going to get dispatched here bleed out into these buckets from there we're going to move over here we're using this nice turkey fryer that we got from a neighbor we have full of water it's already at 160 so we're going to have to cool it down a little bit uh, but you do want to put a little bit of dish detergent, detergent into the water. Just helps out the feathers. So we're gonna cool this water down to 150. You want your water to be between 150 and 155 degrees for, uh, for scalding. From here, birds are gonna go into our uh, plucker and it takes about probably 20, 30 seconds for that. Feathers get plucked off, and this is where the eviscerating station is going to be, where they're going to get gutted out, cleaned out, and get ready for the cold bath. They're going to be, we have a cold bath here. Good way to save on buying ice. You freeze a couple of gallon uh, jugs of water. So they're going to be here for probably an hour or so till they bleed out. And then overnight, we're going to leave them also in an ice bath in one of the coolers for them to really nicely bleed out and tomorrow will be packaging day so so let's get started jay you're going to be in charge of bringing the birds to the cone so let's get some birds so you grab him but i'm going to grab it by his legs by its legs And put it inside and make sure the head is sticking out. Okay. There we go. Sharp knives are essential of your butchering day. Learn to how to sharpen your knife. Um, otherwise it's gonna make your process really painful. So next part we're not going to show in the video, so we're going to skip the next part. So we have some birds dispatched now, you let them bleed out, it takes about probably 3-4 minutes, bird will start moving, we pull it out, next step, we take it into scalder, we're using this turkey fryer, as we mentioned earlier, temperature needs to be at 150 degrees. Gonna Pull the thermometer out, bird goes in. Use some kind of wood handle or something just to dip it in all the way. It needs to be in there for about 30 seconds. It gets whirled around a little bit. What this does is loosen up the feathers so plucking can easily pull them out. Best sign to know if bird is ready, you're going to pull it out, grab its foot. If the skin peels off like that, it's ready. Now, next thing, we're gonna go in the plucker. 
Let turn the plucker on. Turn the water on. So bird in. You come in closer. Bird in. And water on. Stubborn feathers on this one. These are actually easy to pull off. I'm gonna do one more and me see if it comes out better. This is the first one that feathers didn't come out as good. We're doing better with two in there also too. Yeah. We've been doing two, not just one. Yeah, I should have kept a couple more seconds in it. All right, so now we're gonna come here to our cleaning station. Running water here. Clean off any stubborn feathers. Feathers, they usually stay are right here in the back, this belly fat around the butt and on the wing typically. All right, next step, sharp knife. First butchering thing that you're gonna do is get rid of the feet. They have a knee joint kind of here. You can see two joints. And a cut, make a cut right there, and it just pops open. Same thing here. Just put a little bit of force, kind of bending, like bending, bending your elbow in the opposite direction. The same thing you're doing here and make that small cut and just pops right open. These we're saving for chicken broth and for Trinity and Bella. Same thing we're doing with the neck. Make a cut here on the neck. Just want to kind of cut the meat around it and then just snap the neck off. These are just, remember, these birds are only eight weeks old, so everything is very soft and easy to cut. So next thing, I'm gonna open up the chest cavity, and then we have the sack where they keep the food in. That is this right here. That's why we stop feeding 24 hours prior to butchering, so you wanna have empty sack. Because it takes them about 28 to, four, to, to 48 hours to process food from here. I'm going to turn the back, rub the butt, and cut around it. Again, you got to be really careful. This is really soft. I'm going to kind of loosen up this butt and the big intestine that is attached to the butt. You have a little bit of bone back here that you need to cut off. So, there's your big intestine and a butt. I kind of keep that together. I'm going to try. See, I poked a little bit there. 
usually poop comes out if you poke this you want to avoid poking it so it takes a little practice and then we're going to make incision right here and open this cavity and then you have the intestines so now it's like going inside of the basketball so you can go inside and you're trying to scoop everything out grab as much as you can and just pull it out so now we have that sack from the front pulled out we have liver gizzard and intestines and last thing to do is cut off this and bird is clean now we're going to rinse the bird Doesn't this look beautiful? Nice plump chest, breast, clean, and it's gonna take an ice bath. Oops, I almost dropped it. Ice bath until we finish everybody. So this is where we're gonna rest of the blood is gonna bleed out. Next steps: some people skip and trash this. I do love chicken liver. Can maybe come on, on that side. So you have chicken liver. This is uh, what did I call? Gold. Gold bladder. Oh, yeah, gold bladder. So you want to try to avoid puncturing that that's attached to the liver. There you go. A nice piece of liver. Rinse it out. The water there. The rest of the liver. I also love eating gizzards. Kevin loves them too. Kevin does not love them. <laughs> I cut off these intestines. So this goes in the trash bucket. We have a gizzard, like I said. Sometimes they pin their butt to clean, but these are not since the birds are so young. So you're gonna split it open. And that's where the feed is. Can Kevin come around? You can see the rocks, grass, and all the stuff that they've been eating. Rocks kind of help them digest the uh, grain. So you're gonna empty that out and slowly peel this brown part off. It peels right off easily. Voila, rinse this out. And that's done. Now we have to do this about 15 more times. All right, let's do this uh, one more time with plucking. Take the birds out. You can do two at this time. Yeah, like first time we did again. Good example. I'm gonna dip the birds in. Submerge them completely. See how we're doing. Feathers coming off. That's good. This one. Feathers coming off. Skin coming off. All set. I hold this for me. I'm gonna turn the plucker on. One bird in. Second bird in. Come 
much better. There you go, much better example. Pretty much completely clean bird. These feathers, easy pluck out. Couple of feathers on the wing. And isn't that beautiful? Home raised. And the other stuff we already showed you, so we're gonna get to the processing everything else. Completed our biggest processing day yet. Well, 90% of it is done. We have butchered 20 birds. We have 10 in each tub. We're gonna let them soak here for an hour and then we're gonna put them in another ice bath for overnight and package them tomorrow into your shrink bags. But everything is looking great. We measured few of them there between four and six pounds each. So let's say average five. 20 birds, we have 100 pounds of chicken meat. But it went really smooth. It took us about two and a half hours for 20 bird, birds, which is great for a first time. That includes recording and everything else. So I'm sure that we can take that down once we get the hang of it and everything. We have a whole thing of um, organs, hearts, livers, and gizzards. And we have heads and feet for Trinity and Bella and bucket of guts it's gonna go into compost so we'll come back tomorrow once we start packaging everything and finish up so see you then hi Jay is Avion all right so it's been 24 hours we had these birds soaked well, in ice water for 24 hours they are nice and clean so now we are doing our final inspection making sure that everything is clean no feathers as you can see birds are looking really good and next step will be packaging we are having them drain off on these uh, paper towel dispensers before we put them into shrinking bags. Just want to make sure that they are nice and dry. We are really happy with results so far. So we have 10 by 10 by 10 by 10 by what is it? 10 by 16 uh, poultry shrinking bags. What does that mean? It means that these bags, once you dip them in the hot water, they shrink and they uh, give you that store-bought appeal for the chicken. So you're gonna go neck first. Into the bag. And you have these silicone straws that come, most of the 
places that sell the shrinking bags, they come with them. So you're going to place the straw into the cavity of the bird. And do a good old twist. You got a zip tie. And now this bird is ready for the hot water soak. So we're gonna prepare a few more while we're waiting for the water to get to a 200 degrees. We're just about 130. So we're gonna prepare the rest of these birds for, for the packaging. So this is one of the bigger birds. We'll do final measuring whenever we get them sealed in the, in the, in the bags. So this straw allows the, any extra air to escape. Well, it's giving you that really nice professional look on your chicken. Especially if you are able to sell it to customers. Now let's take a look how much this one weighs since we have the scale here. Zero out the scale. This bird is six point almost six point two pounds. Which is really fantastic considering that it was only eight weeks old. All right, now we're gonna take a few minutes and get all of these birds into the bags and then start dipping them into the water. All right, so now the final step, gonna squeeze any air that you can manually first. Then take the birds over to the hot water. Water temperature is between 190 and 200 degrees. And then you're just going to dip the bird down. Hot water will soften the plastic. And as it cools off, as it cools off, wraps really nicely around the bird and gives you basically that store-bought look that everybody's used to. If you are able to sell these, you do want to have this look because people are familiar with this look. They see them at the store, so it's going to be easier to sell stuff like this versus reinventing the wheel that's into something else. So now we're also going to cut the excess plastic and zip lock. And bird is ready to go. Put it on a scale and put a label on it. Let's see how much it weighs. Six one five, beautiful, nice size bird. I'll label on. Date today is six seven three, I think. No. <laughs> seven two. Seven two. Seven. Two and six one five. 
So here we are. Here's the final product of our hard work. 20 birds already packaged, labeled, and ready to go. Uh, we have a total of 90 pounds with 20 birds. Heaviest one was this bird right here, 6 pounds, 6.15. Uh, we have four birds that are five pounds, three, six, nine, ten birds that are four pounds, and we have five birds that are in three pound range. The lightest birds, we have three of them actually, that are 3.7. That's still a nice size bird for, for a family of two. But total of uh, 90 pounds divided in 20 birds, so we are averaging about four and a half pounds per bird. Which is really good for eight weeks that we had them here uh, we fed them 12 hours on 12 hours off we will adjust probably some feedings for the future and see maybe keeping them extra days longer uh, to have some some more five and six pound birds we would like to see some seven pounders as well but we are really really happy overall i hope you guys are happy as well to see uh, fruits of our labor. Uh, this is not a how-to video. This is video of what we done the first time butchering chickens. Experience was great. We definitely doing this again uh, and we're gonna be ready for it. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Come see us again and thanks for following along.